Chinese temple ever built in Singapore. You notice the uh, you're going to be entering the temple. It's customary to strike the ball on the lamb. Most people coming with the people not working yesterday was very crowded here. From here, I'm taking some nice pictures. I'll bring you all inside. Come over here, please. Watch your step. Inside of the temple. That's a pillar. There's a dragon driving around the pillar. Inside the temple. A statue of a man in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. 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 And as for the food you offer to the God after praying, either you bring hope to eat it for good health or you live it for good health. This one here. Next time I speak to you. This one's still alive. You can see a thousand miles. <coughs> that one there points to his ear. You can hear that God of health. And the three wise men for thousands of reasons is what students call them the three wise monkeys. Speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. The center one is Confucius, one of the greatest all teachers in the world of China. One of the students of Canada, the greatest. What will they hear better than this one? I'll show you all the gods of fortune this time. This one's for you, Debbie. You got a uh, Singapore cat? Okay. In the center. Right, 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 right. Oh, come on, man.
got the rest of it. Over there, off in that distance is Western Malaysia. See the hills of Western Malaysia. It's on the other side of the Mount Faber. This island here, you can see right now, was fortified during World War II. But it was only fortified on the south side. Uh, the Japanese came, they attacked the north side, and Singapore fell within one week of Japanese attack. And at the time, it was a British colony controlled by Winston Churchill. He took this as a great defeat. Singapore wasn't released to freedom until America had caused Japanese bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Another view further up the mountain. Here we have in a small shop all the different types of butterfly displays you can buy. Something it is eating. It's huge. Insects. Kind of flying beetle or something. A lot of other stuff. Here's where we're at on the map. Take it out a little ways. Singapore, the island, main area. Here we have the Tiger Bomb Gardens on the Singapore tour. This is the Tiger Bomb Garden. It's uh, made by a couple of brothers or founders in the uh, Tiger Bomb business. Made this just as a fancy thing, just for fun. <laughs> got a snake. These are the Chinese New Year's, I believe. I mean, the Chinese years, you've got the, uh, the ram and the snake and the tiger. So, of course, you're going to have to have the... I don't know. Look at that, a turtle riding an ostrich. Yeah, I suppose you get around a little fast that way. Tiger bomb guard. Crazy like an Indonesian statue. <laughs> the Chinese got us a Big fat Buddha. This guy looks like he's gonna go rub Buddha's stomach in. Then you got Baron standing by the Buddha. He's uh, he looks kind of like a an ape statue. Two little players. Ah, it's a little gadget on chill. Japanese corner. Here's Tiger Bomb Garden. Archway. Big Pagoda. Buddha on top. Surrounded by like newt. Turtles. Turtles eating turtle. It looks very nice. Oh, he's biting the other newt's tail. That's what he's doing. A bunch of toads, frogs, walruses. There's a statue of a woman coming out of a clam shell. Another woman in a shell, a guy fishing. Big lobster, big crab, and some kind of a torture chamber. 
has been chopped out. Big birds out here. Okay. It's being renovated. New Zealand, New Zealand statue. Pretty strange. All these different caves. Little statues of people acting out something. I don't know what they're doing. The Luge of the Golden Temple, that's what it says. It says this is one of the most exciting chapters from the story of the Lady White Snake. Captivity by Susian. She was grateful to him that she decided to marry him and the snake spirit transformed herself into a lovely maiden and courted him. They lived in a happy life together. Hmm. All parts of mythology. Quite a lot of mythology. Statues. Reconfucius is some type of a wise man. Going <laughs> up here. More animal. Giraffe. Pentacle. Buddha. Big happy Buddha. Other parts under construction. So these guys are going to kill the men too. There's another big gate. This is part of the table where these fighter demon women attack this monk because his flesh was magical and they tried to uh, capture him in this cave. Oh, strange stories. Kind of a grotesque pig creature. Big man creature. Very strange. They're attacking this poor guy. Very strange. Type of demon creatures fighting. Some woman creature thing. It's too strange for me. These women. Here, there's a lot of pig creatures. Journey of the West. The Journey of the West is one of many notable Chinese legendary lores. Today's novel, 100 chapters, is acclaimed as a work of art, encompassing fantasy, folklore, mystical gods, demons. The author, Cheng An, was adept in making the novel lighthearted. It's a journey of a journey based on the actual pilgrims of Monk Tang San, AD 604. The six months went had quite a bit of adventure. People attacking and sword fighting. Goddess up there. People fighting. Tigers and leopards. All manner of things. Very bizarre place. Man talking to a goat. And goats a ram. Hot. Some type of a creature attacking a man over there. Pretty violent times picked up by these stories. Right here, you walk through. You can see more and more of the same story. Like some type of a Hindu, possibly an aesthetic, and maybe starving himself for religious enlightenment. I'm not sure. More. I believe the top of the tiger garden, high as it gets. Things, mythological things. Another pagoda. These are all government romance of the conferment of God.
So you see all the guys of different things. Of the spangled. It's pretty neat right here. I like to look through these statues. Very intricate. Nice colors. Very, very strange. And over the rest of the park. Here's the far corner of the Tiger Island Gardens. Chinese dragon. And the plaque like. Here's something interesting. The rats are stick fighting with the rabbit. They're trying to get up. Looks like chipmunks and rats, all kinds of animals, they're all fighting to get up to the highest area. Maybe this means it has something to do with people fighting their way to heaven, trying to do their best, pass all the tests. Here's a wounded rat. Yeah, he's taking away their wounded rat friend. I don't know what this would have to do. They're all stabbed and bloody and very violent. Here at the top, got some creature bringing a book to the angry rabbit. Maybe like a, something about peace? I don't know. And jacket at the very top. More trying to sneak up here. One trying to patch the other one up. One helping the other. Two fighting. One with a child, a rat child. So I just went to a um, precious metal and gem shop where they made watches and plaques and all types of jewelry. And we wouldn't to take pictures. But this here is a uh, pewter shop. And since um, everyone in Singapore is required to work um, if they want to have housing, public housing, they have to work. And um, so they have all the handicapped people uh, working in jobs like this, um, pounding out pewter and polishing it. And this is a shop especially for that. This is the founder of Singapore, Stephen Raffis. He uh, landed in this spot and uh, bought and arranged with the British to buy the island of Singapore from the uh, Sultan. Here's some of the original buildings, all done in white government buildings. Swing back around. Some of the skyline. Huge buildings. This is a canalway throughout the city. And some of the old shop buildings surrounded by the buildings. We struck him over a bed. Similar to the one you see in the doctor office, we have a professional wagger. He's a specialist in his own right. The pen is about one yard long and is about this thick. And we will do the caning in front of a fully seat to receive the max caning. So then only will give him the max caning. So the so the French lady time back in Singapore, the penalty is seven shots of the rotan or the cane and about seven years of imprisonment. It's the wagging that deters the orchard bell there. Mr. Robin Lake the host of the um, TV series, The Lifestyles of Rich and Famous, was here last year in May. Here we're in the Botanical Gardens, going up the trail here. Mm -hmm. Probably from Palm. We've got their uh, 
flower. It's a flower too. On the beach? On the snow bed bed. Yeah. We have the garden. GM, G3 chocolate. Here's the garden out here. How does it look? We moved down the 1250 acres. Trying to do a veritable jungle. No, okay. Yeah, the park. Strange trees. It's starting to rain right now, so I'm not going to film much more. It's the rocket tree from the lady Here's the orchard. Here's the uh, orchid garden where they grow some of the small orchids. It's all the different. Very beautiful. I stopped I'm gonna trek out on my own here. And here we have a uh, overhang. Oh, okay. uh, it sounds like rain again. It's raining off and on all the time here. It's an amazing plant. Look at that. That is something else. Back one. Something else. Look at that one. Huge. Going down the trail. This strange plant. Day tree, I believe it is. Day tree. It's really beautiful. Waterfalls, all the tropical vegetation. Real jungle. Beautiful pool, man-made pool out here. Waterfall. Back seat there, that's exactly where I'm sitting.